So here in episode 3 of Satisfactory, um, it is night time, and it is all a bit quiet. Um, I'm finally getting bored of having to get copper or manually. Uh, also, um, I was exploring for, for m more mushrooms, and I found some Samor, strange alien metal that um, glistens with new possibilities. So Sam, strange alien metal, very good. Uh, I've no idea what that is. Uh, but we need a new milestone. Uh, we need to finish up tier 1, so let's go of exploration basics. And we should have probably plenty of stuff here. I wonder if we can actually research this ore. Uh, oh yeah, the barrel nut thing is um, completed. Uh, we can't do anything with the ore just yet, by the looks of it. Uh, it looks like the, um, the the barrel nut thing was just information. It wasn't anything particularly useful. Well, fine. Is there anything? I've got a yellow power slug as well, I found. Let's try that. Hang on, let's um, select that. Ten minutes, that one. Uh, but now we can make um, biomass. As, or biofuel, I should say, from biomass. Um, which I've started to do. So this should help make things more efficient. With any luck. Because finding wood is getting to be a pain in the arse. That conveyor belt is in such a stupid place. Yeah, let's replace... Let's split the stack. Put half in there. And half in the other place. And then we can turn this biofuel into more... Or biomass into more biofuel. Yeah, look how slow that is. That's depleting very slow. Excellent. I'll make some more of that. Oh, this could be shitloads of it. Yeah, this is the only way to fuel your factory at this stage. So the next milestone, we can probably achieve that already because we've been um, I've been cooking things up for quite a while. The tier two stuff looks quite tasty as well. I've been looking at that, and there's there's an assembler in which you can take two inputs and turn it into one thing. So like copper wire and iron rods and make stuff um, automatically, which is all to the good. Right. Anyway, let's get. I've only just got a th um, hundred iron plates, so. We are ready to go with this. We achieve another milestone. Immediately, pretty much. Wire. Stuff. Stuff. Exploration basics. Uh, to ensure your survival and effectiveness when exploring xenoplanetary environments, you now have access to an object scanner and beacons. He's off. Right. So, uh, presumably, that's going to be constructed here, at this very neglected equipment workshop. Oh, here we go. For an object scanner, we need reinforced iron plates. Ow, bagger. <laughs> a pain in the ass. Also, we need a beacon for the object scanner. Well, we need iron plates, cable, a little bit of wire, and a little bit of rodage. Uh, that's not too bad. That is not too bad at all. So, we'll make a few of those, but not yet, because I need to decant a bunch of gubs. Seem to be very gubbed up at the moment. This ore, I don't know what that ore is. Well, uh, whatever. That tiny bit of biomass can go there. Wood, leaves. Biofuel can go in the generator. Keep the nuts on me. I wish I'd get rid of these iron ingots, because they're just, like, in the way at the moment. Also some limestone. Right, okay, here we go. Oh, got so much bloody concrete as well. Right, anyway... Let's bung in the biofuel. Now I've got some more of it. Got to keep things ticking over still. Split stack. Some into there. Some into there. That should keep us going forever. Ish. Choosing the milestone once I'm thinking about it. Conveyor walls. <clears throat> We've already got the copper wire for this. We just need more iron and sheets. I was thinking about setting up a new conveyor belt and uh, setting up a new um, automatic miner. I'm not quite sure how much power we're using in the grid at the moment. I'm sure there's a way of finding that out. But um, no idea what that is. Um, anyway, so let's grab us some more uh, raw materials. And start making a beacon or two. So we just need some more cable. 
I can't access the crafting bench from the back irritatingly. I used to be able to at the very start of the game. Bunch of that. Right. So we can make one... We'll, we'll make one beacon. Then look into getting the object scanner. For that we need... Oh, we need three beacons! Oh, bloody hell. As well as the reinforced iron plate times four. Oh, well. There we go. Object scanner. So four reinforced iron plates. Whoop. We can make two at the moment. I need more regular iron plates. I'll just make those two. Got plenty of screws. Oh yeah, I found a bunch of screws. Just lying around. Now this is taking its... We're not actually making any... Oh no! We're not making any iron sheets. It looks like we've run out of iron ore. I really want to make this bloody... Oh, that's copper ore. We need copper as well. We're totally out of raw materials. Uh, I'd like to make a conveyor belt to a, a new mine or whatever, but we haven't actually got these steel plates at the moment, or the iron plates, so I will actually have to top everything up. I'll go and, I'll go and gather some more iron ore and some more copper from our manual miner type things. Where are they anyway? Oh, there it is. Hello, lad. Right, to the copper. So whilst we wait for things to happen, I want to build a new set of machines. And to build, I want to automate the biomass um, production. And we can turn um, leaves into biomass and then biomass into biofuel using... I guess, would that be two um, constructors then? I guess it would be. Two constructors in a row. Because we, if you look at the recipes... Yeah, I mean, leaves go in to the constructor, and then here, and then the biomass comes out, and then it'll have to go into another, yeah, I'll have to go into another th um, constructor. So we need two constructors if we're going to do this. Hmm. That's quite a bit. Now let's just go and check our stuff, because if we make constructors, if we're going to make constructors, we're going to need a lot more steel plates and things. Iron plate, sorry. God damn it. I'll stop making that mistake. In about five years. Time. Uh, right, so, constructor. Where am I going to put this? I think over here. Is it feels like it's a bit more out of the way here. So, let's get building. Constructors. Hang on. Production. There we go. Oh, we still, still need more bloody iron plates. Uh, st reinforced. No, oh, whatever. So, we need another four. If we're going to make two. Oh, wrong bit. There we go. What I could do is, with doing is... Um, I could do some manual plate making. That'll get us up a bit. It's been ages since I had to do something manually. It's outrageous, this. Other than the biofuel, admittedly. Right. So now let's make reinforced iron plates. One, two, three, four... And a few more screws. Got absolutely bloody loads. There we go. We probably don't, won't need any more for now. Right, two constructors then. Let's do it. It's, it's a bit up in the air. Oh no, it's not. And there. Right, so, conveyor belt. That's I guess that's basically it. The, I think what we're also going to need is another power station. Which unfortunately means uh, another bio... <laughs> we have to feed this one with fuel as well. Which means I could just like... Oh, shame you can't... You, you can't automate the... Um, putting fuel into these things. That's really annoying. Mm. But we're going to need this, I think. We're going to need another one. I'll put it right next to this one, so we're not fannying all the time. Let's kind of put it there. So we're going to come here. And we're going to be able to do all of them at the same time, I think. Pretty much. Well, it's a bit, it's a bit further away than I'd like, but 
Never mind. So I think we need to get this connected up to the grid. Is there a pole nearby? Oh, that one's all taken up. God damn it. Is there any more? No, all the all the other power lines are, or the power poles are miles away. That one's full up and all. Is there a pole? Oh, there's a pole here. That's good. Oh, I need another cable. Quick, hot cable action. Get a bunch of them. Right, so now we hook this up properly. There. We'll need to fuel it as well. Let's see how this is actually going over here. Yeah, it's slow but steady. It's going to be a real pain in the arse having him keeping them all fed. I haven't got any leaves or anything in them. Oh, actually, I do have leaves. I do have leaves. I have loads of them in here. So now we can make biomass for days. You don't get much out of it. I'm just wondering, I think I might have been able to make this earlier on in the series, but I didn't. There's some biomass leaves stuff. Anyway, never mind about that. Right, that's absolutely loads. Oh, hell. This is a lot more than I expected. I shall make all of this, and because this is something I really need a lot of. So we've got about 60 in each of the current ones. So I could make... Let's just make all of it, and then divide it up. Because we're going to have about... Let's see. 100 plus... We're going to have about 400 in total, so I can divide them up. Oh, there we go. Divide that up accordingly. So let's put in... Split that up to about 100. Let's put 100 in there. And then in here. There. Just so they're all pretty even. And I'll have 70 left over. Which is all good. Right, so now I think we've got 60 in the grid. Yes, we have. Which means these lads over here should be good to go. Do. Do to do. Do to... Hmm. Well, that stretches. Wow. <laughs> Didn't think it would stretch that far. So now I could automate that process, even though it's, it's not the end of the world, how difficult that is, but... So this needs to be biomass from leaves. I guess we just keep on sticking leaves into here, I guess. And then this will need to be... Biofuel... Let's make sure that's the correct way around. Yes, it is. Let's go into there. So we haven't really got any, it going beyond there. We haven't, I'm not going to bother putting it into storage, because... Yeah. I think we should be fine. That's going to be like an occasional thing, more than anything. Do I actually have... I think I've got more leaves in here as well. Yeah, okay, so we can be starting this off. So let's put in... All... Oh, no, no, we can't fit any more in than that. That's really irritating. Um, I could put a a storage thing here that goes. Out. We could try that. Let's just try that. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. Storage container. Right, which way around it? Like that. This is <laughs> such a peculiar place to put it. There's a tree in the way. Right, so if I put all the leaves in here... Yep, it's taking it. Well, that's what, the, that's what the leaves look like when you're not collecting them. So yes, now every time we gather a bunch of leaves, we can... We can just bung it in there and we'll eventually get fuel out of it. The missing link is the ability to, um, to feed that back into the, the burners, but never mind. Right, so now we should be able to make that scannery thing. I can't remember how far we got with that. And we need one more reinforced iron plate. So we'd made more. More than enough of those. 
There we go. Oh, we need more screws. I really could do with a... Um, I didn't notice that. I really could do with a crafting bench that's not... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Never mind about that. Yeah, that should be enough. Object scanner. Now, unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to... Um, swap that in. God, I have to have to do this manually. I'm sure there must be a, a shortcut for this, but... Right, so object scanner. Power slugs. Oh, good, I can find power slugs. I already know there's one on that bloody cliff over there. How does this work? Oh, it beeps. It, it looks like it beeps faster and faster. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Bought some here. Grab you. And iron ore. Let's put the iron ore in the left hand thing. I still want to build a, um, a new mining facility so we can actually automate this bit. That's really annoying. I'm getting rid of that. Hang on. Uh, let's swap that back. It's just making a horrible white noise thing, which is really irritating. Right, so our production of iron plates is going to continue. There's literally nothing coming out of the manual ones now. I need to go and get some more copper again. Ah, oh, another copper run. This factory does feel like it's getting bigger and bigger. Um, there's all kinds of kind of foundations and things I could build. Ramps and stuff. They're all requiring a lot of concrete, so that would be a whole limestone thing, but I don't even, I'm not going to worry about any of that sort of stuff, just for the time being. I might, might need to completely reorganise my base from the ground up, which I don't really want to do. Right, so that's producing wire all over again. By now we should probably be able to do the, um, the milestone. There's that. There's that. And there's that. Yeah, got loads. Let's achieve this goddamn milestone. Conveyor walls? Oh yeah, this is... Yeah, okay. That's all part of base building as well, really. There we go. Oh, pressed escape too many times there. Milestone reach. To ensure optimal use of space, navigation and tidiness, R&D have developed stairs and conveyor walls. Right. Select milestone. Yeah, so if I want to, I think by the looks of it, if I want to add anything to that object scanner, um, to, so I can go and find them, I do need. That's the, that's the scanner. That's wrong. I do. If I want to add things to this radial menu, I do need to achieve these milestones, which means actually doing a bit more research as well. Yellow power slug. It, um, thing is complete, which means, incoming message, the crystals on this slug can be harvested and converted into two power shards that function with current technology. Several buildings will be capable of performing over 100% capacity if infused. The derived blueprint is now accessible in the hub. Ooh. Right, so we also need to actually do some more research, don't we? That was a yellow power slug. Let's try the green one. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> And put that in. And research it. Another five minutes. So if we go to the hub, when that eventually gets back, in 25 seconds, uh, we should have a blueprint. This thing's going to start beeping again, because of that thing over there, the slug. Oh well. It's arriving. Ten seconds to go. What else actually have I got to research? Loads of stuff. I'll worry about that later. Tum-de-tum-de-tum-de-tum! 
Now we need five nuts. We have five nuts. And now that thing's buggering off again. God damn it. So there we go. Now we've added nuts to the list. Found it! <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, those are long since harvested. Now we can put this bugger away using... Uh, if I, if I really should read up the instructions. So I, don't have to do, I hate doing this manually. It's just such a pain in the arse. Actually, I do need to eat some nuts, don't I? So, hooray! I just realised my health is actually reasonably low. There. Now we've got to wait for the whole milestone thing, because the, the robot is gone. Let's check the power situation. 85 still. 99. Bloody hell, the power situation's good. And meanwhile, the leaves are still being processed. Loads of biofuel here. Looks like that was actually full up. So that's got a capacity of 200 before it needs to be emptied. Oh yeah, this production facility is nice. Still got 109 leaves waiting in the wings. So that means the um, periodical running around having to grab leaves thing um, won't ne be nearly as prickish. Excellent. I like this. I like this new system a lot. So I think it's finally time to build the oft-trailed conveyor belt into here. I'm fed up of doing this. Right. All your ingots and all that. So we need a bucket load of steel pl iron iron plates we'll need to grab some more from storage we haven't got a huge oh should we have we've got about 200 and odd oh we need concrete got concrete so that should all be good but now we also need to build the miner let's see let's remind ourselves what that costs we've got everything that's fine good let's go and place the miner should have done this a long time ago Hello, Paul. We will need to hook up the power, but that's not going to be a problem. This is going to be pure iron ore this time. I really should have got that slug at some point. Right. Pick that up. Replace it with a miner. Boop. Power up. There we go. And now, conveyor time. Hmm. That might need to go there. And then go downhill. Is that too long? Oh, it needs to go over there, doesn't it? Bloody hell. Let's make it so we can actually walk past it. Oh, <laughs> there's a bit of a dip. Never mind. Anyway, that should actually be it already, I think. Oh yeah, look, the ore's, the ore's already on its way. Here it comes. Do, 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 do. Right. So that's going to automate that, finally. Oh god, I'm getting sucked in. That's already got 42 ore in it, and now it's going to have a lot more. Thankfully we can go into that. Good, that's all that automated. The copper thing is unrealistic, frankly. Um, to do to get a um, conveyor belt from there to that copper node over there would require hundreds of steel plates, which is probably beyond us. Anyway, let's get a new milestone on the go. Let's get the last... Oh, the, yeah, we've got to do the mushroom. Th oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> the mushroom thing. Let's not worry about that. We've actually completed tier one here, apart from the bloody object, bloody mushroom thing. I still haven't managed to find another bacon thing. So let's collect something from tier two instead. This is going to require uh, another order of magnitude of stuff. But this looks cool. We can probably fulfil some of this. Hang on, what's that? Oh, is that just a regular iron plate? Then go for that. So let's let's fulfil some of this with what we've got already. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to take quite a while. I think that might be a job for next time. Yeah, what have we got? We've got 200, 200 steel um, iron plates. We've actually got almost... We actually have almost got enough copper wire already. Uh, and those... 
Well, whatever. I think we're currently making just iron sheets. We're not making any iron rods at the moment. Yes, it's all iron sheets. Um, but I'll switch one of these over now, I think, to iron rods. Like that. So that'll tick away nicely. Now let's go and do some more research. We haven't done flower petals, but I can't really get that excited by flower petals. Pale berries. Let's try that. That's probably not going to produce any new stuff, but let's have a go. Oh, the green power slug thing is also done. Uh, the crystals on the slug can be harvested and converted into a power shard. By the looks of it, that's the same as the yellow one, only just not as good. So the yellow one's twice as good, essentially. Pale berry. Input. That'll only take five minutes. It'll probably be pissed, this. But never mind. Right. So I should be able to. Mm. Does that mean there's another... Oh god. Overclock production. That's new. A power shard. Oh, we've got another tier one milestone. Interesting. This might actually be worth doing. Let's choose that one instead. We'll be able to do this hopefully now. Overclocking. Hang on, let's go to the storage thing. So, we need that, we need that. Yeah, we can do this right now. Excellent. I wonder if I should put foundations. Ah, oh, who cares. <laughs> right. So, bung this in. Bung, bung, and bung. Overclock production. New craftable parts and player upgraded. Have I been upgraded? Hmm. So what did that mean exactly? <laughs> oh, I can make a power shard. Incidentally, I've got two power slugs. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with those. Mucus radiates a strange power. Well, that's all very nice. So, overclock production. Oh, here we go. Yes, you put the power shards in here. Right, what do we want to overclock then? We don't want to do the biomass thing. Copper is manual, so I don't want to do that. Well, let's do it one of the iron ore ones because, yeah, that is currently. It would be really irritating to. I forgot the con we haven't really got conveyor belt space, is the one problem. And we haven't actually got any um, copper coming through. Well, for now, let's let's overclock. Well, let's see, what have we got here? We've got 53 iron ingots. Yeah, we've got a backlog here. Let's overclock this. We can do it more than once. Holy shit, look. Draggy, 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 draggy. That requires more power, though. Because at 100%... Oh, shit, you can actually go down there as well. So, 3.5 megawatts versus more. Oh, it's not working. Oh, there we go. Seven. So, I'm using more power. But look, there's a difference. Yep, twice as... Fr basically, twice as almost twice as frequent. That should clear the backlog in there quite nicely. Overclocking! Yes, I feel like elite hacker, lads. Whatever one of those is. <laughs> oh, who knows? Excellent stuff. Right, okay, let's finish off this by just finishing off a little bit of extra researchy stuff. I think that, I think that's going to be a while yet, isn't it? That's going to be... Well, that's, that's not really very interesting, that. That's not going to come back with anything useful. But let's just check out the milestone stuff. Um... I really wanted to get the mushroom thing, but I'll only worry about that once I've actually managed to find one. For now, I think I will set this as my next milestone. Cool. Okay, so we may pick, pick this up again in another episode, um, uh, depending on whether you are watching this or not, I guess. Uh, but hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye for now.